are the Haudenosaunee. We're the people of the Longhouse. A lot of people refer to us as the Iroquois or the Six Nations. The Iroquois actually is a French word to describe us. And Six Nations obviously is, is English. Uh, but the Haudenosaunee, that means that we're the people of the Longhouse. The Haudenosaunee have the oldest continuous democracy anywhere in the world. In addition to that, we are matrilineal. It's always been this way. Women play an important role in Haudenosaunee culture because the structure of the communities and society is built on clans and every individual who is Haudenosaunee inherits their clan through their mother. The village in its entirety, including the fields of corn and other vegetables, the entirety of the village, the footprint of that place, ends up being the responsibility of women. They're the ones organizing it. They're the ones providing the leadership structures. There's male counterparts and there's male leadership too, but within the town, the woman's voice is, is primary. It's really important to note that the Founding Fathers actually came and studied among the Haudenosaunee. When you look at the U.S. government, you can really see the Haudenosaunee governance structure underneath all of that. So you have your three different sides uh, of your government. In addition to that, you have your state levels and you have your federal levels. And when you look at the way the Haudenosaunee are structured, you can see that. You see the three different sides in terms of how we make decisions. You can also see the state levels. You know, the clan mothers are the ones who are there for the people. They're there for the communities. They listen to the voice of the people. And they take that then, what, you know, the people want, and they take that then to the chiefs. And the chiefs then all meet among all of our Six Nations together, and they are the representatives of the people. And they meet together to uh, discuss and decide decisions for our Confederacy. The U.S. government is rooted in Haudenosaunee culture, Haudenosaunee governance, Haudenosaunee ways of life. But what the Founding Fathers left out was the role of women. When you think about the Haudenosaunee form of governance, the reason that it works is because women are at the core of it. You have clan mothers who are really the decision makers for the people. They are the ones who inform the chiefs. This is what you're going to say. This is the interest you're going to represent when you go to represent us in council. He can't deviate from that because when a chief deviates from that and begins to act in his own self-interest, the clan mother has the right to remove him from that position as a chief. Haudenosaunee women, uh, their period of suffrage took place a thousand years ago, right? And so they've enjoyed, in a way, this sort of balance and equity ever since. It really was the Europeans who came here who started to effect and infect Native communities with um, a patriarchal um, mindset. So Haudenosaunee women of that time period understood and knew and functioned within that traditional paradigm still. And so they were never lacking for equity. I mean, that idea alone had to have been inspirational to the American women's suffrage movement.